Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on addition and subtraction of fractions. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? As I said, the answer is at the end and good luck. Addition of fractions when we have the same denominators. Now here is an example. 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7. We have to find the answer to that. The above is a very important example because it gives us a vital hint. We are allowed to add the two numerators together only because the two denominators have the same value. So you notice here the denominator is 7 and this denominator here is 7. We are allowed to do this whenever we add two or more simple fractions which have the same denominators. So all we do because the two denominators are the same we go 2 plus 3 equals 5 and you keep the denominator the same. So the answer is 5 over 7. Addition of fractions with different denominators. The example is 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5. The above is not the same as the first example because the denominators are different. One is 3 and the other is 5. We have to be very careful. The following rule will help us to answer the above example. We change the above two fractions so that the two denominators are equal. At present they're not equal. When the two denominators are equal we are allowed to follow the simple rule outlined earlier which says that we can add the numerators together. Addition of fractions, different denominators. Now here is an example to illustrate what we saw on the previous slide. We're asked to add 1 third plus 2 over 5. Here is what we do. We have to find an equivalent fraction for each of the above two fractions. These two equivalent fractions must have the same denominator. Now how do we find this denominator? Well that's very easy. You take this denominator here and this one and you multiply them together and the new denominator is 15. So there's 15 here and 15 there. Now how do we go from 1 over 3 to 5 over 15? Well this is what we do. If you remember we found this denominator is 15. How did we go from 3 to 15? Quite easy. We multiplied by 5. 5 times 3 gives you 15. So we must do the same up here. 5 times 1 gives you 5. So 1 over 3 and 5 over 15 are equivalent fractions. Now we do the same thing with 2 over 5. Now we've already worked out that the denominator is 15. How did we get from the 5 to the 15? We multiplied 5 by 3. 3 times this 5 gives you 15. So 3 times 2 gives you 6. So we have 2 over 5 and the equivalent fraction is 6 over 15. Notice the two denominators are the same. Now we are allowed to add the two numerators together. 5 plus 6 equals 11 and we keep the same denominator so the answer is 11 over 15. Subtraction of fractions, the same denominator. If we wish to subtract two fractions, we just check if the two denominators are the same. If they are the same, we are allowed to subtract the numerators. As before, we keep the denominator the same in the answer. 
Now each denominator here is 9, so we keep the denominator as 9. 7 take away 2 gives you 5, so the answer is 5 over 9. Subtraction of fractions with different denominators. As before, we have to find a new denominator. Now the new denominator is 12. Why is that the case? Because if you multiply this 3 and this 4 together, 3 times 4 gives you 12. So here are the denominators for each of the new fractions. 12. How did we get from 2 over 3 to 8 over 12? Well, that's very simple. 4 times 3 gives you 12. 4 times 2 gives you 8. So 2 over 3 is similar to 8 over 12. How did we get from 1 over 4 to 3 over 12? That's simple. 3 times 4 gives you 12, and 3 times 1 gives you 3. So 1 over 4 is similar to 3 over 12. So 8 minus 3 gives you 5. You keep the denominators the same, and your new answer is 5 over 12. Quick quiz. Please feel free to go back over the lesson to check any section you want if you need help to answer these questions. They are very similar to what we saw in the lesson. The answer to puzzle 5. The answer is tea break. I wonder how you went with this one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And as I say always, feel free to go to the lessons at any time you want to check anything. Because that's the best way to learn. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.